and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be looking at the puzzle on the screen, which is called Imprisoned, and it's by Agent. And this has been recommended to us several times by some absolutely stellar solvers. Um, so we ought to be in, as usual, for an absolute treat. I've read the rules, actually. They're really interesting. It's not a rule set I've ever seen before. Um, so we've got something new as, as, as well as something good uh, to try today. Um, now, before we kick off, I need to say congratulations to more of you who've managed to solve um, all of the puzzles in Joseph Namer's Sudoku Hunt, which is available right now over on Patreon. So the following sent their entries overnight and all correct. So very well done to Brett Gator, to Paul Wright, to Pablo Martin Villares, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Pablo, um, to Matt McCurry, to Fulon Hill, John Reed, um, Michael Nazarchuk, I hope that's right, uh, to Jan, to Conan or Conan and Sebi, uh, to Benoit Massart, to Adam Jaziri, and that's all. Apart from, I suppose, uh, it's, it's the 4th of July, isn't it? So I should be saying Happy Independence Day um, to all of the Americans who watch uh, who watch Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, happy Independence from uh, the tyranny of George III all those years ago. When was it? 17, 1776, I want to say. But I could be wrong. <laughs> anyway, Happy Independence Day to those of you who celebrate such things. Um, now, I've got no birthday announcements today, um, so let's get cracking with the rules of imprisoned. And they are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid indicate the total of the killer cage that contains the nth cell from that direction, where n is the first digit from that direction. So, what does that mean? That means, I think, that this cell here is sort of indexing the killer cage in this column that sums to 28. Um, so imagine this was a 1. I think that's saying that those cells sum to 28. If this was a 3, it would be saying exactly the same thing because it's still indexing. The third cell in the column would be this one. If it, however, says 4, it would be indexing to this cage. If it was five or six, it would be indicated indexing to this cage. Seven would be this one. Eight indeed would be that one. And then nine would be the bottom one. So, and then obviously digits cannot repeat in cages. So it's normal sort of killer Sudoku rules, um, but, but weird in the sense that all of these, all of the killer totals are given, well, some of them at least are given outside the grid by these, these clues. And we're going to have to work out how the indexing works. So do have, in, indexing works. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. And I imagine what we're going to have to do here is to use. Hmm. <coughs> I'm coughing. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, I am. I am not. I am testing negative for COVID. I'm still not feeling a hundred percent, but. Um, Maybe that's a COVID cough. I mean, this 18, I don't think this is useful at all, is it? Because it's perfectly possible for this five cell cage to add up to 18. It's possible for that cage, and it's possible for a three cell cage to add up to 18. So I don't see, well, hmm, actually, I suppose what I could do, although it seems completely OTT, is I could write in all of the cells in this row that are part of cages because I guess this can't be a 4, 8 or a 9 because if it was a 4 it would be indexing to this cell which is not in a cage so 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 seem to be the options but um, when we were doing the example we could see that virtually the whole of this column is caged so the only cell you could remove from this as a possibility would be two although oh no yeah if we actually look down all of the cages are plenty big enough that they could add to 28 so I'm, I'm not even prepared actually to to pencil mark this what about this one at 22 ah one two three four five six no that can, that can add up to 22 the minimum you can make a six cell cage add up to is one two three four five and six which is 21 um 
No, <laughs> so I'm not. I'm working around clock clockwise and getting absolutely no right. Right, 35 here. That cannot be a 35 cage because it's a three cell cage. The most it could have in it would be 987, which only add up to 24. Um, that could be a 35, that could be a 35, and guess what? That could be a 35. So this cell is either indexing the fourth position, the sixth position, the seventh position, or the nine. So four, six, seven, or nine, I think, are the options for this, for this cell here. And that's by far the best cell that we've found so far. Right, let's try this one. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> That's got all sorts of options. Every single cell along that row can be caged apart from that one. So we could we can take eight out from here and that's all. No, we're not prepared to do that. 16 here. Ah, that's too big, isn't it? Yes, that's a six cell cage. The minimum it adds up to is 21. So here you can't have a one, two or a three. Um, that's a six cell cage or a seven. So this cell here has to be four, five, six indexing to this cage or eight or nine indicate indexing to the top cage. Ah, now Maverick's flying past. Maverick has been going bananas the last couple of days, obviously stoked with the success of his new film. Um, 26 in this is this column again. I refuse to believe this column is the break in. I'm not actually finding anywhere to break in here. 35 here that could be in a six cell cage, absolutely. Could be in a five cell cage, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the 35. Oh dear, dear, dear. So this column again is absolutely useless. So somehow, some way, these 20 clues need to work absolute magic here. Ah, yeah, in fact, this cell is the first cell we found that has a proper restriction in it. And that's because we know that six cell cages add up to at least 21, so we can't be indexing to any of those. And that's another six cell cage there, so this has to be eight or nine. It has, and I suppose we know that this cage is a 20 cage now. Now, that also reveals something by the secret, of course. Now, the secret is something I only tell my favorite people, but if you're watching this video, you're certainly in that coterie. And the secret is that any box of a Sudoku, indeed any row or any column, because it contains the digits one to nine once each, must sum to 45. Now, if we've worked out this cage sums to 20, therefore this cage, which is a six cell cage, sums to 25 to make the whole box add to 45. Um, well, that doesn't seem very useful. So this is 25, this is 20, that's a 22. So we're not now indexing down to the bottom of this row. Ah, no, right, I've got it, right. Okay, I haven't checked this one yet, and I am, that's sort of an itch in my brain that won't go away. Um, um, so I'm gonna have to come and check this in a minute, but I think there's something going on with this 22 cage. Because actually, if you look, if we look again at column nine, there are only three cages in column nine. Now we've worked out these three cells are not, um, they don't add up to 22. They're either 20 cage or 25 cage. So this must be the 22 cage. And therefore this cell has to be three, four, five. Ah, ah, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Right, that is an absolutely gorgeous be beginning because this is a six cell cage adding it to 22. So I actually know what's in that cage. It's got to be one, two, three, four, five, seven. But the nature of that cell there is rather interesting as regards the geometry of this cage, because whatever I put in there just cannot go in that, um, in that cage at all because of Sudoku. It's ruled out of these three cells because they're in the same box and these cells because they're in the same column. So what does that have to be? Well, we know that this cage contains a three, four, and a five, so that's our first digit, that's a six. And, oh, and this is a nine. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is so weird and surprising as well, because this cell has the same properties as this cell, i.e. it cannot go in this cage. So if we put four or seven in there, we're breaking the 22 cage, so that's a nine. Um, now, we probably don't need the color anymore, but that was very chromatically exciting for a moment. So 
this is a six, right, okay. So th I was wondering if this was sort of some virtual nine cage. It's not. It's missing eight, isn't it? Um, right, and let's scratch the itch I've got about this cell. So this cell is saying some cage in this row, which could be this cage, sums to 20. Oh, I see. Yeah, look, that could be nine and that could be eight. And then these were these twenty clues would both be indexing this this box or this cage here. Um, okay, but I don't. This doesn't have to be indexing this. It's not indexing this one. So actually, the options for this are maybe more limited than I was thinking. It's either lim indexing this one, which would make this a two. This one is impossible because that's too big. That was that's a minimum of 21. It could index that though, so it could be five. And it could be that one's that's at least 21, or this one. So two, five, or nine into this cell. So by far the most restricted ab initio were these two, which were was unfortunate the way I approached this in a clockwise direction. Um, but now Now, I now know this, yes, yes, so this 9 is telling me that that cage sums to 35, so now we can get rid of some options from this cell, because the 35 cage in 5 cells must be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's not 9, these aren't 6, this cell is not 6 anymore, and indeed it's not 1, 2 or 3, because we've just worked out. This is a five, six, seven, eight, nine cage. So this cell is five or seven. Oh, five or seven, that's annoying. So that's two different cages being indexed. So we still don't know which of these is the 18 cage. Although if it was this one, we'd have 18 plus 15 is 33. These would add up to 12. So couldn't include a seven, which would be mildly interesting. These are one, two, three, and four. Uh, wow, what on earth am I meant to do now? Because the worrying thing about this is that I haven't... Well, maybe I can do more at the bottom here, because I'm just thinking I've got this six and nine, and I've 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 learnt the sums of some cages, but really not many. I've learnt the sum of two cages only, I think. So what am I missing here then? Let's check the bottom. I know there's an eight in one of these cells. And I guess I know that these two cells here go into two of those three cells by Sudoku because they can't repeat in the cage. I know this is now one, two, three, four, five or seven, but that's not useful at all because that's that's indi indexing almost. Well, it's saying this one is not the 29 cage because that would need a six in this position. But every other cage in this row has the opportunity. Oh, hang on, no, no, this is a twenty-two cage. So one is one gets taken out of here because this is twenty-two. It's not twenty-nine. So it's either this one, this one, or this one. Now is the twenty-nine cage. Wow. Okay, I do not see what that means at all. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, if there's an 8 in there, there's no 8 in this one. Ah, hang on, so this is 16. So if that's 16, then I would be saying this, that would affect whether this could be a 7. Maybe there's some interplay between those two clues. Um, if that's 9, this is a 16 cage. 16, that's 31, which means these add up to 14. 
That doesn't seem very hopeful, does it? Um, wow, okay. Oh, that... So this... This cell here now could be, we now know this is a 35 cage, so that could just be 9, and that would make this 8, which would mean this was the 20 cage. We, know, we already know this is the 20 cage. Wow, okay. I don't know what I'm meant to be appreciating about this at all. Is it something to do with this? This case, yeah, that digit can't go in that cage. So it's a bit like these two cells couldn't go in this cage. It's a similar idea with these two, isn't it? And that is a highish digit. So maybe that's limiting the maximum size of this cage. So if we, if we want to maximize the size of this cage, we would want to put a nine in it. So if we make that eight and then make this every other high number we can apart from eight, it would be 9, uh, 6, 7, which is 22, plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, which is 12, which is 34. So the maximum size of this cage now is 34. Ah, which means that cell is not a 1, 2, or a 3 anymore. Because this cage cannot add up to 35. Wow, okay. Um... So this clue is either, I still, it's still got loads of options because it can still index this cage, which would be a four or a five here, or any of those three digits, so seven, eight, nine. So it's not really got much of a restriction in it. This is tricky. This is really tricky. It's very, it's actually really interesting though which is exactly the sort of puzzle I like because it's 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 sort of very unclear ah ah of course of course right how could that be how could this be indexing this cage well it can't be because that would be saying this five cell cage needs to add up to 35 which would mean it was filled with the digits um, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And in that case, we're going to have to make this cell a sort of quadruple Schrodinger cell. It's simultaneously going to have to be one, two, three, and four to make box one work. That won't work. So that's not seven or eight. Ah, oh, this is it. This is it. Maverick's going mad. I'm so sorry if this is annoying you. It's annoying me. Um, but how could this be four or five? If this is four or five, it's indexing this U pentomino. So this would have to be filled with 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And that would mean these cells would have to be 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And now we've got too many, too many high digits in column 1. So this is wrong. And that's beautiful. So that means this cell is not... This cell is 9. There we go. There we go. So it is index, indexing the top one. And it's making this an 8. And it's making this not a 9. And it's making this not an 8, this not a 9. So, ah, so now, lovely, this cage is adding up to 16. Because whatever this turns out to be, it's indexing that cage. Maybe I colour, maybe I colour, that might be sensible. So this is indexing that. Um, this is indexing that. This was indexing this, wasn't it? This, this is red effectively because it's indexing the same cage. At least now I can s sort of start to see which ones of these I've got. So this is a 16 cage, that's the new information. Um, hmm. Actually, that might not be that helpful. Does that mean I can get a handle on these two cells? So the maximum value of these three cells would be 754, which is 16. So the absolute maximum size of those seven cells is two lots of 16, which is 32, which means these two cells have to add up to at least 
13, which is not great actually. I need I need a little bit more than that. Um, six has to be vertical in column one. In it's not in one of these two cells, doesn't it? Because we know there's a six in this um, in this cage here, and it must therefore be in one of those two by Sudoku. That doesn't affect this one. What's this one? This is a twenty cage, which is either this cage. Oh, that's not. No, that's wrong. Okay, this is great. So this is not a two, because that would make this cage have to add to 20 without using a nine or an eight. Well, the maximum we could make this cage would be seven, six, and five, which only add up to 18. So that must be a five, which means I've got this cage now as a 20 cage. So we can do some more coloring in. So this is a 20 cage. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, this is a 20 cage, this is a 20 cage. Oh, this hasn't got a nine in it. Look, by Sudoku. So it must have an eight in it and we can place the eight. I understand, I understand what you're doing here. So now these two squares add up to 12 um, and by the looks of things, they have to be five and seven because, which means that's not five. Um, and they have to be five and seven because they can't be three, nine or four, eight. So is that very useful? The answer is maybe, but I don't know. Hmm. Okay. This, oh, this is five. That's seven now. Oh, it's really good the way this works together. It, it's very clever. Agent is a name we need to look out for. Yes, these are not eight now. So one of these is eight, and this clue is cluing into this cage. So this is an 18 cage now. Ooh, now, it hasn't got a nine in it, look, or a six, so it must have an eight in it. Um, because it can't be seven, six, and five. So what is this cage then? It's it's adding up to 18. I mean, I need to color it. So let's do that like this. Um, it's adding up to 18. So we need the other two cells in it, apart from eight, have got to add up to 10. And they can't be one, nine, two, eight, or four, six. So this is three, seven, eight. That is what we've just learned, which means these squares are not threes and sevens, which means these squares are threes and sevens, which means this square is a five, this square is a seven. This is not a seven. This is not a seven. So this is a seven. Um, oh, hang on. Have I made a mistake here? Why have I got this square as being five or six? Oh, no, in fact, that's that, that might be correct. Okay, I'm just going to double check my pencil marking in this in this cage because this cell here seems to have to be a six. We know that this cage is five, six, seven, eight, nine and five, seven, eight, and nine are all looking at that square. So maybe I haven't made a mistake. So now that square has to be nine. This is a five, eight pair, which means that's a three, and that's an eight, which means there's now an eight look in this cage, which is a 16 cage. So the other three digits in here are adding up to eight, which means they're either one, three, four. I mean, they're not one, three, four, because there's a three in one of those scales. So this is one, two, five, and eight, which means there's no two, no five, and no one in here, um, which means this must be one, two, five, which means this cell has become a four by Sudoku. Um, these squares become three, four, seven by Sudoku. That's not a five. This is a one or a two. Good grief. And now all of a sudden we're, I'm not sure whether we're cooking with gas, but we're certainly doing better than we were. Now in this column, look, I have a one, two, five, eight quadruple. So that cell can't be eight because we know that the eight in this quadruple is in one of those three cells. Um, and therefore these cells at the bottom have got to be four, six, and nine. 
which means these squares are one, two, and three. One, two, three. So now, okay, so now in this column, we've not placed six and nine. So this is a six, nine pair. These cells are known. They're one, two, and nine using the power of Sudoku of all things. And this cell, ah, oh, that can't be a two because that's indexing out of a cage. So this is one or nine. Oh, do we know what this one is? Could this be a 28 cage? Possibly. Um, hmm, actually, just, I'm going to come back and think about this cage in a, in a moment. I just want to check whether this can be a 1. If this is a 1, this is a 28 cage with a 1 in it. So these would have to add up to 27. Hmm. I don't think that's impossible, actually. Ah, no, hang on. Yes. Look in this box. We've not put 1, 2, 3, and 4 into it. So look, I've now got... These squares have got to be a 3, 4 pair, which means these are a 1, 2 pair above them. If I could type this in. So this is a 1, 2 pair. This is a 3, 4 pair. And that square is a naked single. That square, because of the cage it's in, it sees 3 and 4. It can't be 1 or 2, and it can't be 6, 7, 8 or 9. That's a 5. Um, so now these two digits have got to be a 3, 4 pair. So now, is this getting more difficult for this to be, if this is a 1? The maximum size of those two cells. If this is 1, we could put 5 total into these two. And we're trying to get to 28. No, that's okay, isn't it? 9, 6, 8 would work. In fact, it's probably that, because that does look like it's going to work. Okay. Bother. Um, okay. This five is very interesting. That seemed that seems like a deliberacy, doesn't it? It seems like Agent has has put that in. He's extended this cage in order to allow this to be a five. Because this cage, unless I'm mistaken, is not indexed. So this is here purely for that sort of deduction with this five. It's this shape for that reason. Five, oh, five is nearly restricted in this cage, which we know is adding to 20. So there's now a, f oh, there's an eight in there. There's an eight and a five in here. So, so this cage is missing two cells that sum to seven, and it can't have be two five. So this has either got one six or three four in it. Which I'm sure is somehow interesting. Do I know? Do I know what this cage is, or am I going mad? I sort of feel like I do. This no, that's that's indexing green. This is it. No, maybe I don't know what this one is. But I know it's okay. I know it's not this thirty-five clue. It could maybe be this twenty-six clue. Can that really be twenty-six? Um, the answer to that is I don't know. I don't know. This cage as well is unindexed. Nothing is looking at that. This, oh, this 29, 3, Ah, hang on, don't we know that's yellow? Yes, this is a 16 cage, so that can't be a 3. Um, in fact, let's get rid of some corner pencil marking here to tidy this up. This cannot be a 3, because that would be indexing here. It could be a 4 if this is a 29 cage. If this is a 29 cage, it would have to be 5, 7, 8, 9. And if this is a 7... This is the cage that's equaling 29. Oh, maybe I'm meant to pencil mark this column. One, two, three, and four in there. So, ooh, nearly, look. 
Um, does that stop this being a 29 cage? If it's got, if this was maxed out at a 3-4 pair, these, oh no, they could add up to 22. They'd ha we'd have to put the 9 here. That's where that would be forced. In fact, 9 is in one of those three cells. Hmm, okay. So, hmm. so I keep coming back to this one as the most intriguing cage. This cage doesn't have an 8 in it, and it doesn't have a 5 in it now either, because this 5 sees those two, and that 5 knocks out those three. It's a 6-cell cage, so it's missing one other digit. Okay, and that digit is going to be whatever we put into this cell. Yes, because we know that the, we know five and eight are missing. We can only be missing three cells or three digits from a six cell cage. So this cell, whatever goes in this pretty little cell, is not is the th is the other missing digit from this cage. Now the options for this cell though are are I think legion. So it can be, in theory, one, two, three, four, or six. I don't know if there's a way of limiting that further. Um, hmm. Although, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, yes. Okay, here is a thought. We know that this cage has two cells in it that are not five and eight, that add up to seven. And they're not five and two, because oh, we've already got five in this cage. So this cage has either got a one six pair in it or a three four pair. Where are they going in the, in the bottom row then? Well, one six would have to go six here, one here, and three, four would have to go four here, three here. So this is, so this is restricted. Orange is restricted. It's not, yeah, basically what we're saying is those two squares add to seven, aren't we? So this is one or three. So this cage is missing a five and eight and either a one or a three. which I'm sure is very important. There's now a two in one of these cells. Um, yeah, so don't, can't I work out the value of those two cells? Or am I going crazy? I must be able to do that, yeah. Okay, so in the bottom row, the, these cells here are made up of two and then two other digits that add up to seven, which are whatever is not used into these cells. So these three cells add up to nine. And if they add up to nine and these four add up to 20, that's 29. So this has to add up to 16, which means they have to be a seven, nine pair. Good grief. I have a horrible feeling there was a much simpler way of working that out, but that's the way I've done it. Um, so this is a seven, nine pair now, which means seven, look, is in one of those two cells. But don't we know, doesn't this have to have a seven in it? Because we know it's missing five, eight, and one or three. So it does have a seven in it. And that seven now can only go there. Right, so that's a seven, which doesn't do anything. But it was quite exciting to think about. Um, hmm. Oh, I see, and this digit I want to say that bears a relationship with that digit so whatever this is is not in this cage and we so let, I tell you what we should do I should now work out what the two possible values of this cage are because we know it's missing five and eight so we're down to taking 13 or 45. So we're looking at 32 
minus this digit. So this cage either adds up to 31 or 29. 31 or 29. So that means, because I know these three cells add up to 9, these cells add up to 22 or 20. And we already know we've got 16 in there. So if it was 22, this is a 6. And if it's 20, uh, 20 that's a 4. Yeah, so I think there is a relationship between these two cells. I was sort of, I was feeling that rather than being able to prove it logically until I just worked out. Um, until I just worked out the maths of it. I wonder. Yes. Okay. So now I've got a four-six pair here. And okay. So this cage now, which is an unindexed cage. The yeah, okay, these are adding up to 20 or 22, wasn't it? But these are always adding up to 7. I think that must be right, that these are adding up to 7. Because, because this and this are the same. And we know that because this and this um, are different. So this and this must be the same. Just notice that's a nine, actually. Let's put that in in case that helps. So if these are the same, that means these are adding up to seven because these are the digits that are in that cage there. So we've got seven plus 29. That's 36, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So this adds up to nine. And all, all we know is that there's a two in it. Bobbins. Ah. Okay. So it's a two, and then it's two digits that add up to seven, that are either one, six, or three, four, depending on what these are. So there must be some way that we can improve upon what we've just worked out. Now, hang on. With this cage here added up to what was it? Um, I've forgotten. 31 or 29, I think. Yeah. So 31 and 29 are not the same as 26 or 28. Wow. 9, 8, 9. Yeah, that's, that's got to be right. So that means that that means this cell is not 9, that's a 1, oh, which is what I suspected it might be, actually. So, ah, okay. So now these four digits, because this is, we're now saying this is a 28 cage, I don't really know how I show this, because I almost have to double colour this to indicate it's, it's, it's indexing this cage here. But now um, these digits add up to 27. You can't make 27 in four cells unless you use a nine, but that's because eight, seven, six, and five only add up to 26. So this must be the nine, this must be a two. That's not a two, look. Um, and now these three digits sum up to 18. So if this is three, this is a seven, eight pair. And if this is four, this is an eight, six pair. So there's always an eight in one of those, which means this is not an eight. This nine is doing the nine and the seven in box eight. Look, that's not seven now. Nine is in one of three positions in the middle box. And Well, now, do I know what this is? Well, no and yes. Yes and no. Yes and no is the answer. This, 
is, a tw is indexing a 26 cage. We know this isn't a 26 cage. We know this isn't a 26 cage. We've just discovered this is a 28 cage. So that's also not a 26 cage. So one of these is a 26 cage, which means that this has to be a four, five, or a six to index into those cages. And it's not a five. So that's a four or a six. And it's not therefore a two. So this is the two. which means I've now got a two in one of these cells. Um, so one of these is 26 and the other to make the box add up to 45 is 19. So one of these is 19. So if the nine was in the five cell cage and that was adding up to 19, it would have to be with one, two, three, four. So if the 9 was here, then this couldn't be a 19 cage because it couldn't have a 2 in it. So if the 9 is here, this has to be the 26 cage, and this would be the 19 cage. But if the 9 is here, that could revert to being the 19 cage, it just doesn't have a 9 in it. Ah, right, okay. Um, So one of these is 26, one of these is 19. Now what's this one then? So this one is now not indexing into box five because, ah, so that's the point. This is not a four, because if this is a four, it's indica indexing this cage, which we know adds up to 19 or 26 now. So that's a seven. And this seven is now indexing this cage. So that cage and that cage are related. Uh, running out of good colours here, we'll use, actually maybe I'll go to orange and de-orangeify this one. So this cage is now a 29 cage. Um, right. Does that mean it's got to have a 9 in it? If this was maxed out at a 3-4 pair, uh, that would be 7. We need 22. Yes, it's got to have a 9 in it. It's got to have a 9 in it. So the 9 goes here. That's huge. So that's a 9 and that's a 9. All of a sudden we get more digits. So this is now a 6. So this, these digits here are adding up to at least 13. Because even if I max these out at 3, 4... Oh, these can't add up to 30. Ah, right, hang on, there's something going on here. This this domino, if we max these out with a 3-4 pair, this domino has to add up to 13. Now, it can't be 5-8, that would break this cell. It can't be 6-7, and it can't be 4-9, so that doesn't work. So these have to add up to at least 14 which means they must have an 8 in them because they don't have a 9. So there is definitely an 8 in there, which means this is a 5. It means this is an 8. That means these two squares are now 5, 7 pair by Sudoku, and there's a 7 here. This is great. So now we get a 7, we get a 5. 5 comes out of these two cells. 7 is in one of these two cells. And now, what's the most we can put in there? So the most we can put in is a 6-8 pair, which would be 14. If we don't put a 6-8 pair in, the next highest digit we could put in would be a 4 and an 8. And that's not enough. Because if this is only adding up to 12, I can only make those add up to 21, which means I need these to add up to 8, and they can't. So this is a 6-8 pair, which means this is a 4. Here we go. Here we go. Now that's a 3, because we know those, those added up to 7. So that's a 6. Now this 6 is telling us the nature of this cage. So those are in a relationship. I'll have to blackify these for a moment or two. Um, now these are 23, which means these are adding up to 6, so they've got to be a 2-4 pair. It's the only way of making this domino add up to 6, so that's not a 2. This is a 1 now by Sudoku, look, it can't be a 3, which means that is a 3. 
which means that this is a 3, this is a 4. Which is, might be important. Um, I don't know. Now what's this digit? It's a 1 by Sudoku, which means that's a 1 and that's a 2. That's a 4 and that's a 3. Okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere now. Now this is 9. No, it's not. I've already got 9 in this box. This is a 2, 6 pair. So we can put the 6 in and the 2. This 1 makes that a 1, that a 2, that a 3. <laughs> This is a 1 now, that's a 2, that's a 5, therefore this is a 2. Take 2 out of all of these squares. This is, this is, this, I think we might almost be finishing the puzzle. That's 2, that's 4, that's 6, that's 8. This is not 8 anymore. So the whole of the first three columns is done. This cell is a 1 by Sudoku. There's a one in ah. There's a one in this cage here. Now, do we know? We do now know the order of this, don't we? Because I've black blackened this one. So, this is the cage that adds up to twenty six. Um, and therefore, this is the cage that adds up to nineteen. And that doesn't seem to be able to be a two which means this is a 2, and that's in the 26 cage. So can we put 7 now in the 19 cage? Surely not, because if we do, we need these two squares to be adding up to 3 and be a 1-2 pair, which is impossible. So the 7 goes in the black cage, which makes this cell a 6, this cell an 8, and this a 7, which means this is no longer an 8. This digit is known. <laughs> Sorry, I should have got that before. So that's a three, that's a three, that's a four. This is not a one look by Sudoku. So I suspect we've got all sorts of Sudoku going on here. Uh, we've got to put two and eight into these squares. Yes, we can. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Oh no, it's, thank goodness it's not two and eight. Oh, phew. Where does eight go in this column? It's got to go there. And I haven't worked out what this digit is, but it's not It's not a two. I can see that's a five, isn't it, actually? It's got to be a five to complete this column. So that gives me a one, an eight, and a five here. Now that cell seems to have to be a four to make this row work, which means that that cell's a four, which means that cell's a five. Now we know that this is the 19 cage and we're up to 18 so far, so that's got to be a one. That's a three by Sudoku. Um, and we're just left with these two digits, which are six and eight. And so we can do the order. That's six, that's eight. And I think, well, let's check the maths on this box. We've got 10, 24, 26, that's right. Um, this box, didn't have a color because it was I was indexing from this one. So this needs to add to 28 and does. 9, 8, 7, 3, and 1 do add to 28. Um, it, look, it feels right. Let's click tick. Yay. That was very clever indeed, Agent. I loved that. That was a lot of very unusual thinking that I think just comes out of the fact that it's a strange rule set. But it's beautiful the way that the little interactions work. So what I loved, I loved the beginning. I loved the fact that I got that as a 20 cage. And then I realized that there was a relationship between, um, well, that, that, that this, that forced the value of this to not be 22. Once you know this is 22, this cell can't go in that cage. And then there was something similar going on down here with this cage, I can't remember what this ended up adding up to. Is it 29? Yeah, it looks like 29. Now, I think there was probably a more elegant way of figuring out the maths of this cage. But there was certainly something interesting going on between the fact that you had two digits in this in this cage that added up to seven that, that couldn't therefore go here and needed to go into these cells in the bottom row. Yeah, so it's magical the way it was sort of all um, bounced hither and thither until we we could we could finish the puzzle. 
So I hope you had a go. Do let me know in the comments how you got on. I do enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.